You're going to have three hours. Get us that beautiful, clear, 100-proof jar right up here. Your time starts now. Ho, 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 boys, get with it. Merry Christmas. Hoo yeah! The holidays are all about getting family together and loving everybody. Us moonshiners, while we might not be blood related, we're more family than most blood related families are. And to me, the best gift you can have is the gift of each other's time. And yeah, we got some heads starting to come up. There's some moonshiners that never run their still twice the same way. Me, on the other hand, I've got a pretty strict process in which I run this still. I don't just fill it slam full and cap it. I fill it slowly, and I'm cooking my heads off running right up into the air. Takes a little longer to get it capped, but I'll be running in no time after it's capped. It's all about your process. I think my process is really going to be what sets me apart from the other guys. Tickle, yes, tell us about that crash you had. He's catching up with you, Josh. I know. He didn't hit three accidents in the last week. Yeah, this Tennessee ain't no good place for him. Damn, all <laughs> the bad <laughs> happened to him. You're a poster child for safety compared to him. You see, I got this little bitty, uh, it's got a little four-wheeler motor in it, but it looks like an old Army Jeep, right? Well, I was riding it around, and uh, I rode the thing and beat my head on the pavement there, and uh, <laughs> uh, now uh, you got to pay for a repaving job. Uh, well, I don't know. Tim didn't tell me all that. All I know is uh, he kept me from going to jail and all kinds of stuff. You, you didn't foliated. keep the rubber side down, then, is what you tell me. You, no, I did not keep it rubber side down. No, I did not. Got on one of these great big old hills around these mountains. Nor between the ditches. Nor between the, no, I was between the ditches. I stand sure between the ditches, but uh, it was just upside down turned between the ditches. The way we hear it, you just fell out of it and it ran on and wrecked itself. I'm not too sure. I don't quite remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was a low speed pursuit. It's all going to make it to what's that show they play all that stuff on? Yeah. <laughs> Dumb crook news? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the steam in there, men, to go? I was hitting up over 150 degrees the whole time, so that means my head's at 145 was rolling right out. How'd he get it that hot that fast? He let his steel he before he put, any before put in anything it. in it. You let it before you poured liquid in it? Nuh uh. But then I put something in it immediately, heated a small amount, and built up on it. Oh, man. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Tickle. You know you can burn the bottom of that pot out. Here we go. Smells like liquor coming off of there. You better not let them vapors get to that flame. Blow us up. Yeah, I cut your flame back on there. I've learned my lesson on that. Boy, she'll set your eyebrows right up. Where are you at on your steel? I'm at 126. Really? Damn. How many gallons y'all put in your steel? About halfway up the pot. I just went about halfway. What about you? It wasn't, wasn't quite halfway. Well, you know, and then I pulled a little bit out for a... Uh... Yeah, I was going to do that, but I'd already poured mine in here, and I didn't feel like taking it apart and do it. You didn't, didn't charge your thump keg? Yeah, I'd already charged it when I thought about putting some hot mash in it. I've been trying to cook mine slow, too. I ain't wanting to run it wide open. Me either. I'm just going to let mine gracefully warm up and do her thing. You running now? It's coming. It's just coming slow. So you got to make it through the worm, and I'll have some liquor. I hate the waiting game. Did you know that if you can build a steel that'll pull vacuum on the steel while you're boiling it, that it'll boil at a much lower rate? Oh, I'm sure. That. If you put a vacuum on the pot that's pulling the air out of it as it's boiling, kind of like pulling it together, it'll boil at a much lower rate of heat. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I know it does. <laughs> You running now? Almost. I can smell it. There it goes. Hey, you running? Yeah. All right. I'm going to just take your jar that runs out at 100 proof. Guys, two hours left. Plenty of time. Four jars. He's run four. You've already ran four jars? I'm only four. I oh, don't know, Tickle. That's a lot of heat. Getting it, son. He's getting it. Tickle, how's it going for you? Like this right here is my fifth jar. I ran eight. Well, all you need is that one sweet jar. Look like you're under. 
Yeah, bud, that's high as a giraffe butt right yes, there. Yes, sir, <laughs> she's high. Yes, sir. Yeah, I believe that's what I'm gonna go with. I think I'm done. Tickle's done, you on jar two, and I'm just now getting on my heads. Won't be long now. We don't need but one damn jar. One jar is all we gotta have. I want it to be as smooth as it can be. How's it going for you, brother? It's good clear. When it comes to the jar, you just need one to build your little cocktail with. But you want to show them skills so you can get to 100 proof. Gotcha. Running away liquor? Yes, sir. You know what? The pressure is on here. I got to present the perfect jar of liquor here. I want to put the smoothest jar of liquor I can put on the table at 100 proof. Moonshiners do it all night long. Yes, sir. I'm done now. You come tell me what this is. All right. Shake it. See what you think. That's probably 120, ain't it? 115 easy. Yeah. This may be the jar here. That might be your jar right under, yeah. My confidence is way up here now. I'm fixing to take a snort of this just to see. Well, so now I kick it in high gear. Not necessarily to try to beat nobody. Just to put the best jar of liquor on the table, that's my goal here. Damn, if it ain't a good jar of liquor right there by itself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, thank you, buddy. Welcome back, boys. We tasted your liquor, we proved your liquor. Of course, taste wasn't no criteria, but everybody's liquor is, uh, what was that word? Satisfactory. It's suitable for drinking, and we'll make a fine cocktail. That's your next challenge. Jen's done a pretty damn good job at hitting the proof with your eye. Really good. There's no lack of experience here. Out of all three of you, you're pretty daggone good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Before we give y'all the pecking order, anybody want to look their bead and give us their guess before we throw it out there? Say 102. 103. When I look at it and I see that bridge, that tells me 110. All right, Tickle. Your proof was 93. Mikey, your proof was 104. Josh, you're 111. No. If I'd have left this stupid jar alone, it'd been right on the money. <laughs> <laughs>